Hello everybody, this is how we are going to draw the lines for our triangle and mark our holes for the T-jump game. So the first thing I'm doing is I am just outlining the triangles we cut on a blank piece of paper. You should definitely do this in pencil. I am doing it in pen because I want you to be able to see this very easily. Okay, so that's step one of uh, drawing the template we need for our T-jump games. So we have a triangle here. This is a particular type of triangle. It's called an equilateral triangle. And each angle is the same. There's three angles. Each angle is 60 degrees. There is 180 degrees in a triangle. All three sides are equal as well. So, because this is an equilateral triangle, we're going to use mainly geometry to lay out all of the points for our holes. The only time we're going to need a ruler is here in the very beginning, and what we're going to use the ruler for is to draw the outside boundary of our outer holes. So I'm just going to measure in a half inch along the bottom edge here. I'm going to rotate my paper and I am going to draw a line across the bottom of my triangle. Then I'm going to do the same thing I just did. I'm going to measure up a half inch from the new bottom since I rotated my triangle. And I will connect these lines as well. We'll rotate my paper one more time. And connect these lines. go okay now I have a half inch boundary all around the outer portion of the inside of my triangle now where these lines cross those are going to be points for the holes that will drill for our triangle game so I'm just going to go ahead and mark those holes with crosshairs and you want your crosshairs to be thin as possible and you will end up drilling smack dab right there in the center where the crosshairs are okay so uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we will lay out where the midpoints of our triangle go on each one of these lines midpoints of these lines in our triangle and we're going to use our 30 60 90 triangle to do that what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put my pencil down here at the top hole i'm going to line up the bottom edge of my triangle with the bottom edge of my 30 60 90 triangle and I'm just going to draw a line straight down. Now that is the midpoint of our bottom line. It's halfway between our two endpoints. So right there at that midpoint, that will be a crosshair. We will end up drilling a hole there for a T. I'm going to rotate my paper and I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to put my pencil here at the top. I'm going to line up the bottom of my triangle 
with my 30, 60, 90 triangle. And it is very important when you do this that you have the bottom edges of your triangles lined up as good as possible. Go ahead and draw in another crosshair there at the midpoint. Rotate my paper one more time. Put my pencil on the top. Line up the bottom edge of my triangle with my 30, 60, 90 triangle. The better you draw this, the better your, whoops, that's kind of crooked, sorry. The better you draw this, the better your T-jump game will turn out. Now they should all intersect at exactly one point right here. You can see that I'm a little bit off on my triangle. That might be because maybe my triangle is not exactly perfectly 60 degrees in each corner. Um, maybe I didn't line up the bottom edge of my triangles perfectly. But that's pretty darn close right there. But I'm just going to double check just because I want this to be perfect. The better you draw this, the better you'll be able to drill the holes. Yep. Okay, yep, so it's a little bit off. If your triangle, if you have a gap and it is any bigger than that, that's probably going to be a problem. And uh, you'll probably want to either erase these lines and start over, maybe try to redraw your triangle. Uh, just something was off. But if, if you're close to that, that's good. All right, so now I'm going to put one more crosshair right here. And uh, how many holes do we have laid out? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and we need 15 holes, so let's keep going. All right, so what we're going to do now is we are going to line up these endpoints here and we will connect them with a line. And I am now, I now have a smaller equilateral triangle. And what we're going to do with this smaller equilateral triangle is the same thing we did before with the larger one. And we're going to find the midpoint of this bottom line here. Okay, so we found the midpoint between this point and this point, which would be right there. So we'll go ahead and mark that. I'm going to do the same thing over here for this one. So we are just going to draw one more line here. Okay. And one more line here. Okay. Now this is the midpoint between that line and that line. All right. Now, when we did that, if I cover up this part of the triangle, you'll notice that we also found the midpoint between this line, or I'm sorry, this point and this point, which is located right there. So we can go ahead and mark that. Okay. 
And again, the same thing over here. Cover it up just so nobody gets confused. We have a triangle there, right? And here's the midpoint between this point and this point. All right, awesome. Now I'm gonna go ahead and rotate my paper and I'm gonna do the same thing that I just did. on a midpoint here. Okay. Rotate my paper again. Draw a line down. There's another midpoint. draw another line down here okay maybe you noticed maybe you didn't but on the last one on the last side I accidentally forgot two lines so I rotated it back the second side that I did this on. Draw a line down. Midpoint. Draw a line down. Midpoint. Okay, so that is all of our holes. All of our holes are marked. Let's just go through and count them. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, so there's our 15 holes. Now, because I don't want you to get confused, it wouldn't be a bad idea if you erased some points on your drawing so you don't accidentally think that those are crosshair, crosshairs. <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of people accidentally drill these holes out when they do their uh, mm, T-jump games, okay? But those aren't actually supposed to be drilled out. So I just erased those there so we don't get confused. If you noticed, um, all of the holes are laid out symmetrically. Okay, so all the holes on that side are mirrored over on this side. And since it's an equilateral triangle, it doesn't matter which way you rotate it, it's symmetrical either way. Cool. All right, well, if you missed anything, feel free to go back. Um, it might help if uh, you got to this point and you're totally confused if you go through and you change the speed settings to uh, half speed. Um, that way the video will go a little bit slower, but you know, you can always stop and uh, pause the video while you're working. <clears throat>